So now we proceed to yet another IIT JE question. This is more recent. Uh, this appeared in the JE 2004 question paper. Uh, so Piyush, please take us to the question. Okay. Uh, the graph is given to us and the question is, a particle starts from rest. Its acceleration a vector versus time graph is as shown in the figure. Okay. So the maximum speed of the particle that we have to find. Okay. There are four options. Now, the thing is that this is a very simple question. But what the people are do, what most people do is that they write acceleration as a function of time, and then they integrate to find velocity, and then they find maximum value by using some shit formula. Now, what you have to do is, what you have to do is, you just have to like apply a simple thing that sim because we know that the area under this is positive, velocity will keep on increasing because the change in velocity is positive as long as the area is positive so what you have to do is yeah. uh, as long as the acceleration is positive the change in velocity change will in always be positive. positive so but it starts from rest so at t is equal to 0 the speed is 0 so what will happen is after t is equal to 11 second we just find the area of this half into 10 into 11 yeah and it is equal to 55 that is equal to the answer of our question 55 is the change in velo velocity initially it is equal to 0 so finally it will be 55 and it is the maximum because it is a uh, maximum uh, change positive yeah. possible change so answer is B. B so you can use the simple concept that uh, yeah. the area under the acceleration time uh, graph uh, gives uh, the velocity uh, change, change in velocity, velocity. or like the acceleration is positive so and so everything will be positive so it's a pretty simple concept no yes. need to work hard Okay, the next question mm, appeared in the JE 2005 question paper and it's a pretty interesting and somewhat tricky problem. So, uh, Piyush, uh, will you take us through this? Okay, so we are given a graph and that is velocity versus displacement graph. Okay, so the question is the given graph shows variation of velocity with displacement. Hmm, which one of the following graph given below correctly represents the variation of acceleration with displacement? So, we velocity time uh, displacement graph we have acceleration displacement graph draw karne. Four options we mm -hmm. uh, The important thing to note here is that it's this is a velocity versus displacement graph, not a velocity versus time graph. So yes. So direct methods will, will not, not be applicable yes. here. So we so what we will first do is that we will find the uh, relation between velocity and uh, displacement and we know that this is a straight line equation so uh, straight equation of straight line so we have v by v naught plus x by x naught is equal to 1 simply by using equation of straight line intercept form and that will also you will learn yeah. it's not a it very big deal yeah. or you can also calculate it by using like uh, some uh, common things not y uh, equal to mx plus yes, c that uh, kind of form it's also yeah. So you will get uh, this this value. This is the uh, value of uh, uh, this is the variation of velocity uh, with displacement. Okay. So we know that velocity is equal to dx by dt. Okay. Right. So what I'm gonna write is we know that velocity is equal to dx by dt, right? So I have to introduce acceleration in between. So uh, what I'm gonna do is dx by I'm just gonna rule chain uh, use chain rule dx by dv into dv by dt. I simply dv ko multiply divide kar raha usse kuch farak nahi padega. Must have learned the chain rule in mathematics. Yes, chain rule yeah, uh, basically aata hai. Uh, but mm -hmm. abhi ke liye maan sakte hain ki ye cheez applicable hai. Basically isme koi galat nahi hai ki hum aisa kar sakte hain. Okay. So dv by dt humko pata hai acceleration hota hai. Hmm. To hum isko simply dx by dv into acceleration likh sakte hain velocity ko. और वो हम इसको यहां पुट कर देंगे ठीक है तो हमें वेलोसिटी dx by dv थी dx by dv into a ओके तो dx by dv into a is simply equal to v0 minus v0 by x0 into x ओके सो व्हाट यू हैव टू फाइंड इज dx by dv वी नो दैट v is equal to this सो व्हाट वी विल डू इज वी विल रिस्पेक्ट दिस वी विल डिफरेंशिएट दिस ओके वी विल डिफरेंशिएट बोथ साइड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू v ओके सो Differentiating LHS will give us 1 if we dis uh, differentiate both sides with respect to V. So it will give us 1 is equal to 0 minus V0 by X0 into dx by dv. Yeah, so basically we just differentiated both sides. Yeah, differentiating both sides with respect to V. With respect to V. Uh, this is basic differentiation we also learn for like uh, requirement for uh, physics in uh, yeah, like okay. 
from so yeah uh, can you explain why the lhs comes comes out to be one yeah because uh, what you have to do is like uh, again i'm applying the chain rule i'm right. differentiating x okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write just d x by x why don't i write it d of x by dx into dx by dv simply i have to differentiate this function with respect to x now yeah with respect to v sorry so i will d of x with respect to dv what i'm doing is multiplying and divide by dx simply dx by dx simply equal to 1 and this is dx by dv yeah simply matlab this is a basic thing like uh, huh. we are, we are just just prove chain rule ha huh. okay so that's how chain rule is applicable so uh that's that we use here so we have find that that dx by dv is equal to minus x not by v not that will be uh, we will put a uh, value of that and what we will uh, have then is we will have the equation that minus x not by v not into acceleration okay is equal to v not minus v not by x not into x so what we are left with is a equation which is only between acceleration and displacement okay we have to find the graph between of acceleration versus displacement so we can find it with a straight line graph okay so and we have uh, derive the uh, equation, equation for which it. relates acceleration to yes. the displacement and now from that equation we can figure out what yes for that equation will be simply minus v not square by x not okay and uh, plus v not square by x not square into x so this is the equation that is required now what we are given is we are given four graph we are not given any values that are available so what we'll do here is that this is simple okay so this is the equation and uh, but hame graph is tarah se form mein diya hua hai hum keh sakte hain ki dekho at x at x equal to 0 acceleration negative hai to at x equal to 0 acceleration negative hai to hamare paas sirf teen graph aise hain jisme ye cheez hai the is, option b is immediately eliminated ha b is already removed now we have given that this is a straight line equation and this is a positive slope okay there is only one yeah. question in this a positive slope so answer will be a correct okay okay so that was a pretty interesting problem and mm. not very straight forward but quite just use the relation that uh, v is equal yeah. to dx by dv into a that we can use that is very helpful in many uh, solving many questions yeah. of this type so the next question deals with the concept of the velocity of approach which was explained in the theory earlier So uh, Piyush will take us through this problem now. Okay, so the question is: Point A moves uniformly with velocity v, so that ve- vector v is completely aimed at point B, which in turn moves rectilinearly and uniformly with velocity u less than v. So okay. So basically, what uh, what this problem is uh, telling us is that the point A always moves towards the location of the point. Yes, to always look at the. The velocity is always in that direction. Yes. and the velocity of v is constant which is like uh, u okay, okay. Uh, the magnitude of both uh, them uh, both of them is same only the direction of a is changing which is directed always at b so the question is at the initial moment of time v is perpendicular to u and the point is separated at a distance l so okay. at, at t equal to 0 there is also diagram given so uh, this is l and at t equal to 0 v is perpendicular right. to u so these are the initial so, so how soon will the points converge okay So in this we will use the concept of velocity of approach. First we have to understand that what exactly is happening. So like after some okay. time, a uh, point we will just like reach here, okay, and okay. its velocity will be in this direction. After some time, and a's velocity will keep moving yes, towards b. Yes, a will be in this direction. So after some time again, this will be go ahead to like this point, and velocity will be in this th- this direction only because it is constant. And after some time, its velocity will be in this direction. Like okay yeah uh, along this like so yeah. it will be keep on changing yeah keep on diverging and after some time like it will converge converge and the both the points will meet okay to hume time nikalna hai kitne time ke baad dono points meet karenge tumko actually pata chal gaya ki ho kya raha hai okay so we use the velocity of approach concept yes so maine assume kar leta hu ki jaise ki iska path kuch aisa hai to jiske kuch t time baad main maan leta hu koi bhi t time baad theek hai okay so t is an arbitrary t is an arbitrary time okay so Uh, this is velocity v this is point a and after some time like it has reached there 
ओके दिस इज पॉइंट बी एंड दिस इज यू मैं मान लेता हूँ कि किसी भी टाइम के बाद जो एंगल है वो टीठा एंगल बन रहा है किसी भी टी टाइम के बाद जो वेलोसिटी वी और यू के बीच में टीठा एंगल बन रहा है मैं ऐसे जूम कर लेता हूँ सो अब इस मोमेंट पर हम क्या बता सकते हैं कि ए और ए बी के बीच में वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच क्या है देखो प्लीज स्पेंड सम टाइम थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस क्योंकि वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए तो एकदम अलॉन्ग ए बी ही है और इसकी अलॉन्ग इज दिस यू कॉस ठीठा हो जाएगी तो वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच इज सिंपली इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच इज इक्वल टू v minus u cos theta at any part particle in instant it is equal to v minus u cos theta so at any particle in instant i can say that the dl distance uh, that is the distance with which this two will approach is equal to v minus u cos theta into dt okay so all right so the velocity of approach is as you know basically the velocity along the line joining, joining two, two particles two particles and always it tells about the uh, velo uh, rate at which the two points are converging yeah. so we will integrate this and uh, we will know that after uh, the distance between them is l so after at t equal to 0 this distance between them is l so after time t the distance that uh, they have covered is l okay uh, so after time t when these two points finally meet yes. the total distance covered is It's simply equal to l, l in the okay yes yeah, so we'll integrate it 0 to t and this is 0 to l so we have l is equal to 0 to t integration of uh v dt minus integration of u ko bhaal leta hu because u is constant cos theta into dt and this is uh 0 to t okay so ye hamari first equation ho jayegi first concept ab second concept humne ye bhi sikha tha ki jo jaise ki humne wale case mein dekha tha ki jab dono points meet kar rahe hain iska matlab dono ke points ka jo displacement thi along the perpendicular wo same aane chahiye thi aise is case mein hum keh sakte hain ki maan lo ki x axis hai this is y axis so i can say ki jo dono ka x component hai initially dono ka x component zero hai okay I can say कुछ टाइम बाद जो दोनों का एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट है वो सेम होना चाहिए बिकॉज अगर दोनों पॉइंट कॉलेड करें ऑब्वियसली उनकी पोजिशन सेम होनी चाहिए ओके सो सो कंडीशन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस एसेंशियल कंडीशन ऑफ्रेशन सो इन एक्स वी ओ नो दैट आफ्टर टाइम टी द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट बी इज ऑब्वियसली यू इन टू टी बिकॉज यू दिस दिस कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी नो दैट यू टी इज इक्वल टू the distance traveled by this point a we know that at, at any particular time this is making an angle theta this is the same angle as this so this angle is theta yeah. this is equal to v cos theta yeah okay v cos theta hai to humko ye pata hai ki integral of v cos theta dt from 0 to t right. is equal to ut okay yeah. so jaise ki humne wale case mein use kiya tha Along the line joining के perpendicular components देखे तो perpendicular means in, uh, in that uh, initial case accordingly x direction के along हम देखेंगे ठीक है ओके तो हमने वही चीज देखी है इससे हम इसका इंटीग्रेशन करेंगे अब अब वी तो कॉन्स्टेंट उसको मैं बाहर लेके चला गया तो यू टी इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जीरो टू टी कॉस टीटा डी टी ओके नो इन दिस इक्वेशन इसको इंटीग्रेशन करेंगे तो हम यहाँ पर हमारे पास वी टी आ जाएगा माइनस यू ए कॉन्स्टेंट है अब इसका इंटीग्रेशन के वैल्यू हमको नहीं पता तो इसकी इंटीग्रेशन के लिए हमको यहाँ से पता चल जाएगी yeah. और इसको हम यहाँ पे पुट कर देंगे बेसिकली uh. हमको इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जीरो टू टी कॉस थीठा डी टी की वैल्यू निकालनी थी जो हम इस इक्वेशन से मिल जाएगी yeah. और उसको हम इस इक्वेशन में पुट कर देंगे सो दैट उसको हम पुट करने पर हमें टाइम पता चल जाएगा एंड डेट टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिंपली वी एल अपॉन वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर यस वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर आई विल फॉर यू वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर दिस इज द टाइम ओके डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई द इन बाई बिफोर मीटिंग अलॉन्ग द लाइन ऑफ अप्रोच यस टोटल डिस्टेंस दिस इज एंड डिस्टेंस they covered together in the x direction mm -hmm. horizontal direction is the same yes so this is the second condition and thereby we can through some uh, mathematical manipulation we can arrive at the answer yes this is not a very okay. difficult okay so 